Well, I believe it's minus 25 outside, but we're nice and warm and cozy in our own little cocoon. So I want to say bonjour, good morning to uh, Brigitte and Nicole, all the way at the World Trade Center, Winnipeg, correct? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go right into it, ladies. I, you know, when we had first met and we were talking in World Trade Center, well, my mind obviously went to New York right away, but uh, Brigitte, if you can maybe give us a little bit of a history on the World Trade Center, Winnipeg, and what it means on a global sense too as well. Absolutely. So uh, World Trade Center Winnipeg is part of a, um, a larger association called the World Trade Center Association, uh, which is a global network uh, that includes 300 World Trade Centers around the world in over 100 countries. And the value of that is that that allows us to open doors and reach um, different countries and open up um, introductions to business people who want to reach those markets if they want to expand in a certain country. We, we have those connections to really facilitate that transition for them and that growth. Um, and having said that, uh, our office has been here in Winnipeg since 2013. So a little bit of history on that. How do you get a World Trade Center in your city or in your province? Um, so how it works is that the World Trade Centers, to have a license, you have to um, be a main city hub. So people often wonder, why is it World Trade Center Winnipeg and not World Trade Center Manitoba? It's for that reason. So what we've done is to... Um, make it more inclusive for the, for the whole province of Manitoba. We've uh, added serving all of Manitoba to make that very clear uh, that we are here to help everyone. And um, the way it worked back in 2017 is that um, our founding partners are the Winnipeg Chamber of Commerce and NM, which was uh, the former trade um, trading organization for Manitoba. Mm -hmm. And because of that, we were then able to start the World Trade Center Winnipeg here in 2013. And, um, Sorry. Uh, yes, and another important factor is that the World Trade Center in Winnipeg is also the province of Manitoba strategic trade partner. So what we do and what that means is that we are able to coordinate B2Bs and incoming and outgoing missions to facilitate conversations between um, organizations who want to either come to Manitoba or for companies who are maybe looking to um, go to other countries as well. So that's just high level, um, <laughs> the background with World Trade Center here in Winnipeg. But it's as Wonderful, though, because it's really putting us on a, a global playing field, right? And then also promoting, yes. you know, our wonderful city, our wonderful province. And, you know, hopefully when we get through all of this pandemic, the doors will open once again. But I know, too, that there are a ton of programs and services that the WC Winnipeg, TC Winnipeg, which I'll now call it, offers. So, Nicole, I'll go to you. Uh, you are the knowledge keeper, so to speak, of all of the different programs offered? Uh, yes, so um, I've been with World Trade Center Winnipeg for over seven years now, and uh, it's just been so great to see the progress that we've done as well. So we're really there to help entrepreneurs start, grow, and expand their businesses. So at any stage of your business, you can connect with us, and uh, we offer uh, programming such as uh, workshops, uh, webinars, um, we also have our Trade Accelerator Program, which is a uh, top uh, program to allow individuals that are already in business wanting to do that exporting and having a um, vetted out uh, by experts uh, export plan. So it's a very well-known plan and we've had over 80 graduates um, since we've started the program, which is amazing. We have different series on uh, all sorts of topics that an entrepreneur needs uh, to be able to have help with, um, be it either at the starting stage or uh, later in growth. And our market research is uh, very important as well. So if you're doing your business plan or you've already been in business, but now you're needing to pivot and change, and we've heard that word a lot uh, throughout uh, these times, but our market research um, and our business advisors and trade advisors are there to, to help individuals uh, on their entrepreneur entrepreneurial path and we're really there to uh, to be able to help them and guide them and we also have great partnerships which allows us to connect them with the right information at the right time and with the right partner and it's so critical right now and yes you had mentioned covid and businesses obviously having to shut down and whether or not they're going to be reopening their doors there's so many things that as uh, as a business owner there's so many questions that basically 
you know, a lot of people don't have the answers for. So Brigitte, I mean, over this course of time, 10, 11 months now that we're in all of this, how has uh, uh, Winnipeg sort of changed and how has the World Trade Center Winnipeg sort of pivoted to as well to help these businesses? Yeah, for sure. So we've been uh, listening to what the business have been saying through a variety of ways. So we have our local chambers of commerce who have done surveys um, to see and, and hear what the companies are struggling the most with. Mm -hmm. And as Nicole mentioned, we have we offer um, a, a large variety of different webinars and training sessions. So we've had to, just like other businesses, pivot and um, kind of go outside of our comfort zone and find um, facilitators to, to uh, provide some training to help the companies with their pain points because of COVID. So that, you know, through e-commerce, uh, we were offering a different um, series, as Nika mentioned, but to talk about Facebook marketplace, how to sell on there, how to sell on Shopify. So helping them step-by-step step be able to build those platforms to help them um, be able to stay uh, in the market and, um, and and relevant, keep their doors open as well. So, and uh, we do that a number of ways. So as Nicole mentioned, we do work with a, a number of partners as well. Okay. And a lot of partners are offering training as well. So we're communicating with, with each other and making sure we're not duplicating what's being offered to the businesses um, mm -hmm. that need help right now. So what we'll do is uh, we'll promote the, the different uh, training that they offer to then supplement what we're not able to provide to the businesses um, at this time. So it, it's been working out really well co collaboratively and um, we, we really see the impact it's been having on the businesses. Yeah. Was there anything in particular, Brigitte, that stands out in, in your mind on, on what business owners really need right now? Well, right now, in regards to, you know, with the doors not being open for a lot of businesses still, um, it was how can they reach their clients? Um, so whether that be through different sales tactics or just how to communicate and, and making sure that they're top of mind to the businesses. So um, I think that we've offered a different a variety of different programs and platforms to help them do that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I know so many questions. So for you, Nicole, I guess too, I mean, is the dream of starting your business and opening up a business, I guess right now isn't the best time, but uh, how, how will WTC Winnipeg sort of, you know, get back into the, all of that and you make it a, a viable and a wonderful city to open or start a business, you know, whether it's in Winnipeg or somewhere in Manitoba. And, and I think when, uh, when things started to hit in, in April and March of last year, we thought that was possibly going to happen, that people were not going to want to open a business. And I offer the starting a business in Manitoba, and we've had a phenomenal amount of people wanting to start a business, and they have seen this as an opportunity as well. So some of them have, um, unfortunately, um, maybe lost their jobs or have had to uh, you know, change where their direction was. And now entrepreneurship is even more viable for them. And so there has, uh, you know, there's a lot of resources and we're very lucky here in Manitoba. There is a wonderful ecosystem and uh, collaboration between all the partners. Um, and uh, I think it's just, it, it is wonderful. And I think people are looking at this as an opportunity um, and they are really being innovative in their way of, uh, of starting a business. So we have not uh, necessarily seen a, a, a downside of people registering because that particular webinar has been very popular uh, throughout the last months and continues to be as well. Uh, well, that's good news because you know we, re we really need to have that extra boost in our local economy with everything that's happening. And you know, I've, we were talking about COVID and businesses closing, but in these years that you've been here, I'm sure both of you have success stories too, or, you know, you know, somebody that has really shone and gone on to bigger and brighter things. And that must make you feel very well, good too as well. Does it not, Brigitte? Yeah, definitely. Um, and we see a lot of responses through the surveys that we send out after uh, our webinars and, and just the, um, the comments and the thanks uh, for the support that we've offered them. So that's definitely uh, rewarding for us. Um, and also by, um, you know, the traffic that's been increased our website as well. We have our Roots and Recovery page on our website that offers all the listings of all the different uh, supports that the government has put out. So mm -hmm. being able to direct people to the correct uh, good sources of information, uh, reliable information on, on how they 
they can um, access those different programs is definitely rewarding because we're seeing that we are we're, we are there to help them and uh, and it, it's, it's a good feeling for sure. Yeah, <laughs> all around. And Nicole, the future. Yes. I guess we can't really predict the future, but maybe some more of the important points now as uh, WTC Winnipeg moves forward. What are some of the things that are in your plans to help support our local economy? Well, basically, I mean, I think that I'm fueled by uh, my passion of networking, of team building, and I'm, uh, you know, so uh, pleased with our team, which we're all there wanting to have the success of our entrepreneurs and uh, our business um, community. And so we're, we're fueled by that. Um, I love empowering people with information, and there's nothing uh, greater than uh, when we've worked with these entrepreneurs and they have their grand opening, or they've uh, entered a new market that they had been working towards and the, the success that they've had. So mm -hmm. our team is really there. Uh, give us a call. We want to hear about your business, about your challenges, about how we can connect you with the right information at the right time to um, have you succeed. So that uh, to me, I, I just, I love connecting the dots <laughs> and helping um, entrepreneurs um, find that relevant information. And we're, we're really being focused um, moving forward on different series so we have a procurement series that's coming up. Uh, we've had, uh, we're having an Amazon series. Uh, we have uh, one on Facebook as well. And uh, there's the different platforms and anything that the entrepreneur would need that we hear top of mind, we are working uh, towards uh, delivering those kind of, of uh, training. Wow, well, definitely head to the website, wtcwinnipeg.com. Yeah. They'll have all of the listings there for you, all of the programs and how to contact either Nicole or Brigitte. Sorry, I'm just giving you plug ladies. <laughs> but, no, uh, that's great. No, and, and it's true. I mean, certainly an, organiza an organization like this is so important, uh, especially right now, to give other people hope too to maybe follow their dreams. And you're right, you know, maybe they've been stuck in a job that maybe they weren't happy with. Now is the time to maybe branch out and, and follow those dreams of having your own business and certainly looking forward to having your organization just become more in the limelight and have people come and see you. So I want to thank both of you, Nicole and Brigitte. It's been a, a wonderful conversation. And as always, stay safe and healthy. And hopefully, yes, you too. <laughs> hopefully we can meet in person at one point. <laughs> Definitely. Well, thank you for having us. And we did want to mention that we offer our services, our uh, bilingual services. So we offer them in French and English. And um, we, our business advisors are uh, willing and uh, ready to, uh, to serve all, uh, all entrepreneurs across Manitoba. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Merci.